Right now I have 500 FPS in Minecraft and that is because I'm running Sodium. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to download and install Sodium for Minecraft 1.20.6. Let's go ahead and get started. The first step to get Sodium installed is to install Fabric. Fabric is the mod loader that is going to allow us to use Sodium. In order to install Fabric, click on the second link in the description. This is a written guide on how to install Fabric. Feel free to read through the guide, but if you just want to follow along, let's scroll down to step one and click download Fabric loader here. That will redirect you to the Fabric page where you're going to click where it says download universal jar and that will begin the download for Fabric immediately. And don't worry about download in fabric because it is completely safe to do so. And you know what else is safe to use? Our sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you're looking for a Minecraft server, either a Java or a Bedrock server that is open 24 seven and that your friends could join at any moment without you having to use your computer resources or your IP address, then Apex Hosting is the perfect service for you. You could also create a fabric server and they have locations all around the world. So wherever you create your server, you will have good internet and your friends will have good internet. Check out the first link in the description for 25% off your first server with Apex Exhausting. With that said, let's keep going with this tutorial. Once we download a fabric, we're now going to download the fabric API. The fabric API is a mod that we're going to add to our installation of fabric that is going to allow us to use a bunch of other mods, like for example, Sodium. So to download the fabric API, click on the third link in the description, scroll down and click download fabric API here. Of course, feel free to read through our guide. Once over here in this page, you're going to head over to files, you're going to scroll down and you're going to look for the version 1.20.6, which is right here is the third option right now. In case you don't see it, you could always click on all game versions and put 1.20.6. That'll bring all the versions in here, find the most recent one and then click on these little three dots and click download file. After five seconds, the download for the Fabric API will begin. You gotta wait five seconds though. Once you downloaded that file, we're now ready to download Sodium. Click on the fourth link in the description, which is our written guide on how to download and install Sodium. Feel free to read through the guide, but if you just wanna follow along, again, scroll down and click where it says Sodium on step one. That'll redirect you over here, where you're going to look for the 1.20.6 version of Sodium. Again, you could always filter by version and then get that 1.20.6 in here and click on this little arrow in here. That'll begin the download for Sodium immediately. With all these files downloaded, these three files that we just downloaded, let's go ahead and drag and drop them into our desktop. We have Sodium, the mod, we have the Fabric API, and we have the Fabric installer. The next step is going to be to install the Fabric installer. Now, keep in mind that for you to open the Fabric installer, you're going to need Java 21. And no, I'm not talking about Java as the Minecraft game. I'm talking about Java, the software that will allow you to open jar files. Any Minecraft above 1.20.5 will require you to have Java 21 when installing mod files, like for example, the Fabric installer. If you don't have Java 21, don't worry. In the description of this video, you have a guide on how to download and install Java 21. It's super, super simple. You just download Java 21 and then you open the installer and you install it. Once you install Java 21, then you will be able to open this fabric installer because I know a lot of you will have issues when trying to open the fabric installer. Sometimes you might have to run a jar fix. So I'm also going to leave a guide on how to run a jar fix, but that's in a very, very few cases. Okay. Anyways, once you are ready to open this file, just go ahead and double click on it and they'll open the installer. Just make sure that you have Minecraft closed at all the times as well as the Minecraft launcher. Once over here, you're going to select Minecraft 1.20.6 as your Minecraft version. As you can see, in this case, it's selected automatically and then you're going to hit install. That'll begin the installation process for fabric which as you can see was quite fast actually. Click on OK and then close the installer and you could delete the Fabric installer now. The next step is to launch our Minecraft launcher, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it. If you install Fabric properly, once the Minecraft launcher opens, you will see it here selected automatically Fabric Loader 1.20.6. Now we have to add our mod, which is Sodium and the Fabric API. To do so, head over to installations and make sure that modded is selected. You should see Fabric Loader here once modded is selected. If you don't see Fabric here for whatever reason, just click on new installation, name this whatever you want, like for example, Apex Sourcing, which will give you 25% off if you use the first link in the description for a server and then on version just select fabric it should be one of the first options in here as you can see release fabric loader 1.20.6 select that and then click create here on the bottom right and that'll make an instance of fabric for you anyways once you have fabric in here click on this little folder that appears once you hover over it and then that'll open a folder with a lot of files in it but you are now looking for a specific folder called mods mods and as you can see my mods folder is right here if you don't have this folder and i'm gonna go ahead and actually delete mine don't worry you could always just create it by right clicking clicking new and then naming that folder mods right so create a new folder name it mods and then you're good. So once you find this folder or create it, go ahead and open it. And now just drag and drop the Sodium and the Fabric API into this folder. It's that simple. Let's go ahead and drag and drop it into there. Close this folder, head back to your Minecraft launcher and now launch your Fabric Loader, which will then 
load your sodium into the game because remember we needed fabric to load sodium so let's go ahead and wait for this to open and i'll see you inside the game once the game open we know that we're in fabric because it literally says fabric down here but i'm actually gonna go ahead and launch a world just so you guys could see that we have sodium now working in minecraft 1.20.6 your game should now run way smoother you probably increase your fps a lot you're here in the game and everything is loaded and everything and let's go ahead and press f3 and as you can see we have sodium running right now I have 166, 200, 300, 342 FPS. My FPS just keeps going up in the top left, as you can see. Yeah, this is now Sodium working in Minecraft 1.20.6. That is pretty much how to install this. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. If this video worked for you, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. And we right now have 430 FPS, 470. It's just crazy, right? Let me know down in the comments how many FPS you gain by installing Sodium. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, bye bye.